All right. What is up everyone? The fish tank guy here and today I will be talking about building a 10 gallon sump on a budget. Now before I get into what you'll actually need for this build, I'm just going to list off a few reasons why you might want to incorporate a sump into your existing aquarium system. Okay, the first reason is it helps to increase the water volume of your system. It is a well-known fact that smaller aquariums are more difficult to maintain and take care of because the smaller amount of water means that changes in parameters can happen very fast. So that is one reason for wanting to add a sump to your system. The next is it helps provide a place for you to hide right or put your equipment in filtration. If you have a smaller tank you might have a lack of space to even put things like that. So if you have a 10 gallon tank, it might be hard to put a protein skimmer in there and you can use your sump to put as a place to put your protein skimmer instead. In addition, you can use your sump just to hide away some things that you don't want shown in your display tank, like your heater, for example. Okay, that's one reason. Another one is it helps to keep the water level in your display tank stable. Now, you're still going to get evaporation out of your system just as you would with your tank if it were by itself. However, the water level will be changing in your return pump chamber rather than in your tank. So aesthetically, that will be a little bit nicer and you won't feel as pressed to necessarily be constantly topping off your tank because the water level is looking low, you know, every half a day, every day, okay? And lastly, a, a few other things, a few other reasons you might want to add a sump to your system are because it will help increase the aeration, you know, with the water going into the overflow, then down to the sump, then through the return pump back into your tank, you'll increase the aeration and the oxygen levels in your water. It will also help to keep your display tank surface free of contaminants because of the skimming done by the overflow box. And also, last but definitely not least, it can help simplify water changes because instead of dumping water into your display tank and potentially, you know, disturbing your sand or your coral or any of your fish, you can dump it directly into your sump when you're doing a water change. So that's another nice benefit. Okay, so now let's get into actually, let's get into what you will need to do this build. There are a few things you must have and there are a few things that are nice to have. So I'll start with the must haves first. Okay, first you're gonna want an aquarium. Now, I've seen people build sumps with buckets and Rubbermaid containers and different things like that. Some people will probably comment and say I should use acrylic paints instead of glass. And the way I'm looking at it is, you know, I'm only gonna create this sump once. I'd like something that is pretty sturdy and stable. And, but at the same time, I still don't want to spend a lot of money. So I'm trying to find a middle ground of building a quality sump, you know, on a budget. Okay. So I did go with glass for this setup. All right. I started with a 10 gallon standard Aquion glass aquarium at, you know, any of the major chains, Petco, PetSmart, they usually have a dollar a gallon sale. So I got this tank, you know, during that sale. So it was 10 bucks. Okay, the next easy thing to purchase is going to be your aquarium safe silicone. I went with the Aquion, got it off Amazon, cost me about 10 bucks after shipping, and that's what you'll be using to silicone your glass baffles into your sump. Next, you will definitely need a caulking gun. You can purchase this from any of your hardware stores. This is about five or six bucks. That'll be used in conjunction with your aquarium safe silicone. Those things are easy to buy. Now the thing, the stuff, the, not the, not the stuff, the items that are more difficult to purchase are your glass baffles. Now, this is not something you can just go out and buy. You can't just go out and buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot. You, you need to either cut it yourself or get it cut. And I went with the get it cut route because even though it might cost a few dollars more, having a professional do it, and uh, you know, smoothing it out, smoothing, smoothing the edges and everything was definitely worth it for me. So you're gonna wanna go with quarter inch thick glass. Online, I read a lot about eighth of an inch thick in acrylic 
and different types of materials. And the general consensus is quarter inch thick glass is very sturdy. It's stable. You can, you know, knock into it a few times if you're working in your sump and it's not going to crack or break. So spend a couple extra dollars and go with a quarter inch thick pieces of glass. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to call around to glass companies that are near you and ask them how much it would cost for four pieces of cut glass. What we're doing with this 10 gallon sump is we're doing a three chamber design and that three chamber design incorporates one bubble trap. Okay, so I actually bought four pieces of glass and the dimensions you're going to want to give the glass company are as follows. You're going to want to measure the depth of your tank from front to back on the inside. For me, it was 10 inches. So once you get that measurement, you're going to want to subtract an eighth of an inch and that will be the width of all of your baffles. So all of my baffles are nine and seven eighths inches. Some people say do a quarter inch less. Some people say do a sixteenth inch less. I did a lot of research. Eighth of an inch right in the sweet spot. Okay, so it'll be nine and seven eighths inch wide. And then what I did for my sump was I, I had three different baffle heights, nine inches, eight inches, um, should be down here, nine inches, eight inches, and two seven and a half inches. Okay, the nine inch one will go here first between chamber one and two. And the eight inch one will be the next baffle between two and three. The seven and a half inch will be up off of the bottom of the tank for the bubble trap. And the final seven and a half inch one will be the last glass baffle before the return pump chamber. So those are the glass baffles that you'll need to purchase for this setup. Now, you really need to ask around because the first place I called, they wanted $65. And the second place wanted $35. And the third place wanted $21. So I went with the place that was only $21, bucks, which is a pretty good deal. Okay, so those are the things you must have. You must have those things to create your 10-gallon glass sump. Now, some of the optional stuff is masking tape. Okay, the masking tape is going to be used to tape off your glass baffles so you can have clean lines of silicone that's definitely optional the sharpie will help you plan where your glass baffles are going to go and help you keep them straight and they mostly just planning purposes that's what that's for the ruler I guess you do have to have a ruler to measure the inside of your tank okay but I'm assuming most people have a ruler or a tape measure in this instance but um, for the actual build itself the tape measure will help you keep things straight and will help you with your planning and other things like that. And lastly, I have a few pieces of wood and a clamp because those will help me stabilize the glass baffles when I go to install them. Now, again, those last few things are optional for this build, but they will help you to make a, a, a cleaner, a cleaner sump, I guess you would say, cleaner, you know, with, you know, the baffles are straight and they're level and things like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You're looking at creating a 10 gallon glass sump for under 50 bucks. And I'm going to create some additional videos that will walk you through the sump assembly, you know, putting equipment into your sump, plumbing your sump into the rest of your aquarium. Uh, but this video was just to focus on what you would need for building a 10 gallon sump on a budget. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please add your comments and opinions in the comment section below. And if you have not yet subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you could do so. And once again, I am the fish tank guy. I'd like to thank you for watching. And until my next video, best of luck in all your aquarium adventures.